right, all right, all right. Welcome to Web3 Talks. I'm MC, and I got uh, two of my friends, especially I know this guy right <laughs> here. Uh, we go way back, and they've been working on a pretty interesting project. And they are actually building on Bitcoin. Is that right, guys? Yes. Absolutely. All right, let, let's, I, I want to cut right to the chase. I know you guys got plenty of Twitter spaces, and you got a main net launch in two weeks. Was that correct? It's this month, yes. This month? All right, yes. okay. So um, I'll tell you what, uh, before you know, we get into your project, Bilar, uh, please introduce yourself and also please share your origin story. Sure. Uh, my name is Mithil, Mithil Thakur. I am from India originally, currently living in Dubai. Uh, I have been in crypto since 2017 full time. Uh, so. Uh, I have probably not done anything else apart from crypto in my career uh, and probably done everything that's possible in crypto till today. Uh, started with a exchange earlier in India in 2017, didn't work out. Uh, started a blockchain consulting firm based out of New Delhi, uh, built a smart contract auditing platform, um, then started a quant trading desk based out of Dubai in 2019. Um, we used to trade crypto derivatives. Uh, build algorithms of our own and trade uh, on perps in crypto nice. and uh, and we also used to invest a lot in crypto startups probably invested in, in around 30 startups uh, till wow. now nice. yeah before we started velar but uh, yeah it's 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 our journey till velar and uh, i'll i'll be happy to share more as we go on awesome also uh, that, no, that's great hey uh, arvind please share your uh, origin story man so i'm arvind uh, i grew up in dubai actually in sharjah og <laughs> <laughs> the dark side yeah from the streets of sharjah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, i got into crypto because of, uh, i was a big privacy file a uh, big fan of snowden uh, mm. assange growing up nice, and then man. eventually i found my ways into get into the industry in 2018, I was part of an ICO and, uh, you know, the crazy crow, cowboy, cowboy ICO style. <sighs> Those are the beautiful <laughs> days, people. Beautiful days. Beautiful days, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, two years I spent around in the ICO space and uh, exchange side of the business. And then I found my break into crypto.com. Uh, I was part of the MENA expansion team, growing the business in the region. And then eventually I started managing EMEA and India for crypto.com. So that was a, that was a crazy ride. Uh, like uh, the hyper growth that I experienced in crypto.com, I haven't seen anywhere. Like I haven't. It's like one of a kind. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, I I was interacting constantly with market makers and so on. So right. I jumped to the other side of the equation, which is uh, <laughs> Amber Group. So I joined right. Amber Group after crypto.com, and then uh, I spent a year a year with Amber Group and. Uh, and found my passion uh, in Bitcoin, and of course, uh, we, we started well our. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no! That's really good. No, thank you for sharing your origin story in the crypto. I mean, definitely, it's, it's kind of like the cowboy days, but it has also kind of, you know, our industry has, has matured quite a lot, and it's also grown pretty fast. Uh, but that being said, uh, just to focus on you guys on Bellar, so. Kind of give us a little uh, sneak peek. What is Velar? So uh, I'll I'll give you a few definitions. So if you want to explain Velar in a, in in one line, it's a multi-feature, uh, multi-L2 DeFi app with Bitcoin finality. That's like the one line definition. But nice. uh, if you if you want to elaborate, then uh, we are building the entire user-facing DeFi infra with Bitcoin finality, using uh, multiple L2s that are present on Bitcoin as of now and multiple L2s that are, that are uh, forthcoming. So our, our vision with Velar is to build a uh, uh, really good user experience uh, DeFi uh, with, uh, where all transactions are finalized on Bitcoin. And Bitcoin currently doesn't have smart contract capabilities. So we have to use uh, L layer two solutions uh, that have smart contract capabilities, but finalization on Bitcoin, uh, and we build our our user facing DeFi layer on top of it. Interesting, uh, but you mentioned about uh, you guys are using L twos. Yes. Um, I mean, uh, how, what is that, and which L two are you using? Sure. Um, right. So we are currently on Stacks. Right. Stacks okay. is a layer two chain, which right. basically finalizes transaction at a later period on uh, the Bitcoin chain. So right now, stacks blocks are one is to one matched with Bitcoin. 
So it's it's a bit slow. It's in the building phase. They've been mm-hmm. around for ten years, advancing this uh, a sort of uh, development around Bitcoin scaling. Oh right? wow! Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's not it's not like a new L2 that's just popped out, right? So they've been around for quite some time. So um, wow. that's the reason. That's one of the reasons we chose Stacks. But the primary reason is uh, their upcoming Nakamoto upgrade and SBTC. These are two important pieces of the puzzle. We feel like uh, to bridge the full Bitcoin circular economy. So essentially what happens is with the Nakamoto upgrade, the block times go down to five seconds. So it's as fast as uh, any EVM chain or yeah. it, it's it's pretty good, right? So <clears throat> so what happens during, um, so the tra- transactions happen on Stacks chain and then they get batched onto the Bitcoin network in, in the later stage. So even, the, even when the transaction times are slower on uh, Stacks, Right. The, the finalization happens on Bitcoin. So the security of Bitcoin is still kept. So that's the reason we chose Stacks. There's another thing called SBTC. So it's it's basically a non-custodial one-is-to-one peg Bitcoin movement from layer one to layer mm-hmm. two. Oh, so right. this has not been possible before. And this is like a very important piece of the puzzle that we are most excited about. So it's the first time you don't need a custodian or you don't need a federation like a wrapped Bitcoin to make sure that the peg is maintained, right? So it's all in a smart contract, and that's what uh, we're most excited about. Oh, no, that's really cool. But I love that you guys keep emphasizing about Bitcoin. You know, you know, a lot of I guess a lot of the people in the space, well, I, I'm sure they might have asked you, like, why why do you care about building your uh, you know your project on Bitcoin? I mean, there's Ethereum, there's you know Avalanche. You got so many L1s out there, like. Why do you guys care about building on Bitcoin? Is there like a philosophical reason or a personal reason uh, or any reason? I mean, <laughs> yeah, so so it's also not as much about uh, Bitcoin itself as it is about proof of work. So I'll, I'll, I'll use an analogy here that uh, the entire crypto when it was start when it was built in 2008, nine, yeah. it was built on the engine that is proof of work and it used Bitcoin, the coin as the fuel. To, to run that engine, you know. Right. So uh, so when Ethereum came out, Ethereum used the same engine, proof of work, to build. That's true. Yeah, and and it brought the smart contract capabilities with itself that allowed people to build DeFi on top of it and run entire financial systems on top of uh, the engine, which was proof of work. And in on Ethereum, the fuel was the ETH token itself. So uh, what happened last year uh, is is a huge event. So when Ethereum moved to proof of stake from proof of work. They literally changed the entire engine uh, of of the entire system. That's so, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I think most people still don't realize how big of an event that is uh, in not just in crypto but in entire global financial market. Uh, and uh, we personally we believe and through our experience, uh, if you say the term DeFi, which means decentralized finance, mm-hmm. it has to be decentralized. And and proof of work mechanism is the most efficient, secure and sustainable way to run DeFi, which is decentralized financial system on top of it. So when Ethereum moved to POS, of course, they solved a few issues uh, temporarily, uh, which they claim, uh, which is scale, which is environmental concerns. But over a longer Mm -hmm. period of time, it's it's not as open and as decentralized as proof of work. So when Ethereum made that move, uh, there was no infrastructure left around DeFi, which is based on proof of work mechanism. So it was the main reason we started building uh, on, on Bitcoin, which still uses the proof of work mechanism. And also uh, it's it's one reason to build on Bitcoin. Uh, the other reason is the liquidity also, right? It's also, I mean, we are running a business. We want to sure. be uh, self-sustainable and profitable with Velar in, 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 in a year from now. So uh, the, the second most important thing that Bitcoin has is the liquidity. So Bitcoin, mm-hmm. as of today, has 50, con- contains 50% of the entire crypto market cap, which is which uh, comes to around half a trillion dollars as of today. It can go much more up. It can go a little bit down. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, but this liquidity is right now logged on the Bitcoin chain, uh, which is not used in, in decentralized finance. And that's why the entire TVL of DeFi right now is around $50 billion. But there is 10 times more money, half a trillion dollars just uh, logged on on Bitcoin, and that's when uh, even Arvind said that with SBTC coming, that liquidity can be unlocked by bringing them to other layers uh, in a trust in a trust minimized way, 
and yeah. and that will uh, bring a lot more uh, liquidity and uh, you know authenticity to to defi in general so that's why we are building um, velar on bitcoin no that's cool no that no that's really interesting thank, thank for sharing that i think it um uh, i think you actually eloquently put it you know why bitcoin matters right yeah. in a sense so and and i guess you guys can offer forecasting wait a minute like um this uh, the industry sort of kind of going in the wrong direction but hey you know what i think we can solve a, a really big problem in the marketplace um, i i also wouldn't say it's a problem but uh, the core ethos that crypto was uh, designed in the first place was to give an option mm. and this added option is also freedom that the freedom to use a, a, any financial system without relying on someone that's what decentralization stands for you know the freedom of choice uh, and openness to to let any person use the financial system and uh, that's why it's very important for defi to be completely open and decentralized and proof of work is still date the most battle tested decentralized and open uh, mechanism to build decentralized finance on top of it so so that's why there should at least be an option i'm not saying proof of stake systems are bad i'm not saying ethereum is bad or i'm not saying even banks or centralized systems are bad but what if those systems which are centralized or semi centralized fail there should be an option uh, a, a mature infrastructure which is built on a completely open and decentralized system that uh, that that acts as an option for people in case this systems fail and that's why it's very important for uh, defi to also exist coexist on on bitcoin and proof of work alongside uh POS or EVM based systems. Oh, that's cool. Then I was going to no thanks for sharing that. Uh just wanted to take a few steps back. Um I I know we could talk all day and stuff yeah. but definitely uh I uh, would love for our audience to learn more about your project. Uh I'm actually very curious about what is the meaning of the name Velar? Right. right. <laughs> that's a, yeah. So this guy is like a geek when it comes to like collecting domains. Yeah. So <laughs> the thing is I I collect a lot of domains. <laughs> and i i bought uh, so we were thinking about something right we always uh, since december we were thinking about building something so i was just buying uh, short letter domains as as much as i could and i bought velar's domain around uh, in in january this year and uh, and then uh, we clicked with this idea and we moved so fast we didn't have really much time to think much and we we just decided to go with the domain and uh, i think it's 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 better because now we can give meaning to uh the name instead right. of uh the name giving meaning to us so uh i think we'll give a name uh, a meaning to velar soon oh so yeah. no that's good i think what i like about you guys is you guys have taken action i think i think that to me that represents the spirit of crypto and yeah. web3 space so um uh, i know you guys got to go hey you know what where can our audience learn about velar oh. I mean they can find us at velar.co that's our website. All right, okay. Uh, we have the testnet live. We have over 50,000 users use our testnet. Wow, so congrats. We, wow. we would invite everybody to join our testnet. You know, there is uh, an airdrop incentive mm -hmm. uh, for people who test the testnet. Yeah. You can find us at Twitter velarbtc. Okay. And mm -hmm. of course, yeah. Yeah, our our Discord and <laughs> Telegram is also very active. We have over 10,000 people on on Discord uh on velar Discord as of today. uh and over 3000 people in telegram so yeah any okay. any any issues that people are facing you can troubleshoot ask queries uh in on discord telegram or twitter no sure no yeah. no thank you so much I definitely I would love for our audience to learn more about velar and you know the business use cases and all the great stuff you guys are doing especially with your twitter spaces i know you guys do it what weekly yeah every week on thursday all right okay yes. cool uh before, now just one last question before we go you know i just want to uh um uh, talk about trends what what does the future look like to you in the next year just to uh just just to reiterate from each uh, of the, you guys the future is orange to be honest though but uh yeah but jokes apart it's uh i mean uh we are talking about bitcoin here it's uh you know like it's it's the mother chain so for the first time after 15 years we have an opportunity to build uh to build other use cases on top of bitcoin and uh, great thanks to ordinals protocol and uh, the use cases that are coming with ordinals with brc20 with src org20 new uh, token standards it's immense 
so ordinals brings in the immutable data which is which has millions of use cases in itself even if not just nfts on on bitcoin you know right. and uh, and also like people like us uh, building uh, on on layer 2s bringing defi to bitcoin i think the i think i think the way people perceive crypto it's going to change in next uh, if not one in 2 to 3 years and it's going to get much more credible it's going to get uh, much more safer and sustainable for people to use as as more things uh, develop on bitcoin oh that's beautiful yeah. that's beautiful uh, arvind uh, any last words uh, uh, my last words would be to just uh, you know have fun do do what you believe in stand for something you believe in and uh, Yeah, we're building crypto, man. It's 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 every day is bright. Oh, yeah. that's beautiful. No, that's awesome. Hey guys, uh, thank you so much for joining us here at uh, Web3 Talks. And hey fam, um, it's always great to connect with some amazing founders and builders building on Bitcoin, right? I mean, like, and I love I, I love your future outtakes. So definitely, we share that sentiment. So, anyways, fam. We got to go and they these guys got to build on build a lot on yeah. Bitcoin. I mean, so that's this huge guys. <laughs> Anyways, y'all be good, y'all be safe. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.